Uh, oh shit. Hold on, y'all. Be what? what? Coffee talk out. Welcome to the strip. I forgot my beverage. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I'm back. <sighs> now, let me ask you something. See my little nifty little <laughs> cushion? This should be feeling good, too, when you lean back. <coughs> Microfiber. Hey, man, let me ask y'all something. Y'all get into it. A lot of, I'm about to talk about some shit that y'all probably gonna be scared to talk about or don't know much about or people be so egotistical that they feel like they can place their judgment in. When and wherever. You either gonna like what I'm gonna say or you not. You can comment, whatever. I don't care what you say. Negative, positive, against, or with. It don't even matter. I don't even know you. But if you done been down the strip before, y'all know I get straight to the point. Let me ask y'all a question. What the fuck is the Pope? I say that because he's not a preacher, pastor, deacon, elder. Oh, he's a bishop? Is he an archbishop? Okay, but anyway, whatever it is, I notice he wears several different types of caps that got different historical placements on them. But what I'm saying is, the Pope is believed to be um, God on earth. You do know this, right? <coughs> Y'all do know this, right? That that's what he's supposed to be. What I'm saying to y'all is if that's what he's supposed to be, And if you can clearly look around and see that the Vatican would be the strongest religion. And when I say strong, I mean strength-wise, strong. Not in numbers as like Baptists, like strong as strong holding. No, I mean actually powerful. They have their own city, banking system, Vatican City. So... Wouldn't that make him, <clears throat> I'm talking to just y'all rel religious guys and women, wouldn't that make him the head of all of y'all religions? No matter which one it is, because he is held at the top over everyone in the religion situation in the world. Ain't no Baptist guy over the Pope. Ain't no Protestant guy over the Pope. There's no Jehovah's Witness guy over the Pope. There's no Muslim over the Pope. Everybody reports to the Pope. You don't see no other world Religious leaders riding around in an old bulletproof car? Like that? You don't see no other religion? Well, there is one, but you don't really hear it talked about that have as many stolen artifacts as they do. As many <coughs> hidden underground temples and chambers and things of that sort as they do. Hidden symbolism in their artifacts that they wear in your face like they do. I need y'all to get into y'all studies, man. If I, you need to know what the Pope is and who he is. 
That was just a sad part. I, just, I don't know. I just wanted to get into that right quick. Another thing is, all y'all believers, but don't believe. Like I was watching something talking about, we're going to use this as an example. I'm always on the men. So today, this topic is going to be on the women. That body augmenting thing, or body shaping, or whatever you want to call it. Let me ask you something. A couple years back, it was exploding on the scene with certain things. I don't, I don't, I didn't get specific into which particular body thing was jumped. I think it was lips and something else. But the Christian women, the Christian community women, was rampant in there. So I have this question. As women who claim to walk in faith, to claim to love God, to put him first, and to know that he is all, Alpha and Omega, I'm talking about the women who subscribe to that, when you say or when you do that change, Are you saying that God didn't do a good job? I'm only asking that because since you subscribe to that, you say he made everything and he made everything how he wanted it to make and you, you then go in to say he made you in his image. If he made you as an individual, then he made you in the perfection that he saw fit. So when you say, oh, my ass ain't big enough. Oh, my titties ain't big enough. I need a longer neck. I need thicker lips. Now, is that saying you need these things because God made a mistake? Oh, 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 or then that's when you gonna say, well, no, it's because my mom and dad, my mom was shaped like this and dad shaped, you know, and I just, is that what happens then? But still, then what are you saying? Still, because ultimately, since you subscribe to that, you're saying that God made you. I, I never, I could never get to the, anyway, yeah, so that's what you're saying. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I'm just talking shit. Let me get off the women. No, let me get you stay on them. Look. I can, I don't, but I can get with, you know, makeup. I can get with enhancements. You know what I mean? The eyebrows, the eyelashes, you know, a little makeup here and there. Not makeup as to look like it's makeup actually color necessarily, but to just bring out the natural curvatures and enhancements that's in the face itself. I can get with that. I can get with changing the hair and all that. You know, because quite as kept, they were trying to sell you that black women was buying a bunch of hair. They were trying to be white. Now, cool, I, I get that whole agenda, but there are black races on the earth that have hair like the hair that y'all claim that the black women that's buying weave is buying, I mean, it's women that black that have hair like that. And there has always been like this. So... <clears throat> I can get with that too. It's just when you have to want to. Now, I ain't talking about not wanting to reshape. I'm only talking about the Christian ladies that are also subscribing to the changing of this body situation stuff. I also want to know when you say you're you're changing your gender but you're a Christian are you saying that your God made a mistake he didn't know what he was doing because you want to be one thing and you feel like one thing and but you're not that
So, I just want you to sit and think about that. You know, think about that. Think about what you are saying and what you want people to believe you are or who you want people to believe you are out here. Now I'm going to jump into, put these men in here too, one time. For all you married fellas and married women who get a divorce or realize that that's a lie when you say, well, God put this person here and this is the one. Especially, okay, let me, let me, let me get real close so that you can really understand what I'm saying. Okay, I have peers that say they've never left the state of where we live in. The state, you know, that we live in. They ain't never been outside this state, ever. But they married. And they say, well, hey, man, man, hey, God, God, this the one. I have a problem with these types of terms or sayings <laughs> because... If you've never been nowhere else, lived nowhere else, or traveled anywhere else, shut the fuck up. It's grit time. Shut the fuck up. You ain't went nowhere to meet nobody. He talking about God said that's the one. He ain't told you shit. I'm sick of this shit now. Ain't no God told you that. Quit lying to appease the public. God told me that was the one. He didn't tell you that. If to this day nobody can tell you what God said, how he sound, then everybody who say God told me that was the one, it, you can clearly see that they're fucking lying. They're not the miraculous one that has heard God audibly speak. When your preachers and your higher positions in those those uh, theological fields will say the same thing. Oh, well, God, is he, he don't speak audibly. Well, how the fuck did he tell you the message to tell me Sunday? And can I ask you another question? What day do he give you the message? Do it come on Monday and Tuesday or Wednesday and Thursday? Or do it come Friday and he give you just one day to really get everything noted down? And quit lying to the people. You're doing small book reports in little sections of this book. And then delivering it on Sundays. That's all. Some of y'all ain't even going into depth with the little book report. You're just taking the, the little section reading and then freestyling. So back to these married couples. Now, you're married. Y'all done both families done put maybe about 10 bands into this situation. A year in, you get a divorce. So did God lie to you? I'm talking to the one that said that he told you, he or she told you that that person was the one. So did God lie to you? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So all these messages and all these sermons and all this curriculum coming down through this religion shit is coming from the Pope? How to teach y'all to think like this? How to teach you to look at this situation? How to teach you this? All this is coming from the Pope. If that's the highest seat, then why all y'all don't say that y'all Catholic? But you answer to him. See, I see all types of people, not just Catholics, when he come into cities or when he come to the states and, and you know, they shut shit down for him. I see all types of people out there waiting to kiss his hand or his foot or whatever whatever you guys do for this this man that's walking around in this damn night coat.
Sometimes he have on his symbolic fish hat that y'all don't know about, ain't paying no attention to. Sometimes he have on the little cap. You know what I'm saying? The little cap. You know what I'm saying? He do hand gestures and, and all types of things that y'all deem conspiracy theory just because you've heard the word conspiracy theory and it's some shit that you've never heard about. So you, because you so close minded, you just, bro, hey, bro, you jump on the bandwagon. Hey, man, them conspiracy theories, man. And you don't know nothing. Man, I was in school history and tell us nothing like that. Yeah, that's because history was full of shit. History was his particular story he was telling you to learn, to indoctrinate your goofy ass. All the cutting out of school, smoking weed and getting drunk and all that didn't lead y'all to Nan Book outside of the school. Or nobody who was able to give you sustenance. Crazy. That's crazy. That's what makes y'all crazy. Crazy enough to think that the people who think are the ones who are crazy. People that say shit like, oh man, you so smart, you stupid. You so smart, you sound stupid. Crazy. So you get the divorce, and that's it. Then, some people get married two or three times. Let me ask you something. In every marriage, in every situation of, of that ceremony and that ritual, you guys are getting married in the name of God. I'm just saying. That's under y'all's particular doctrine and what y'all do. So let me ask you something. Not only did he lie to you the first time, you saying that God is a habitual liar. Look here, man. Y'all got to get it together. Start to do your walk, man. I can't believe that people still so stuck in sleep. I'm not saying don't read the book. If it's a good book and it's interesting to you and you want to read on it, read into it. Well, well that is not getting you nowhere. Look around. Is Corona still around? For those who are in that paradigm, is Corona still around? Have you been praying since it, 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 its inception? Have you been praying for each other and other people? I'm not going against the grain. What I'm saying is, are the numbers dropping because of the prayer? Or did the prayer block any of the numbers? That's all I'm saying. Now, back to the ones who want to do the changes and we're not talking about, we're talking about the ones who are admitting that this is what I want to change into or turn into that and this and that. You know, the letters and terms that's being used for those people. But what I'm saying is, if you're born a male and you change into a woman, and you become Christian or get into that lifestyle. Or was that perhaps before and still went on with your, with your little one too? Did you just say God was lying? He was a fucking liar or you wasn't satisfied. He, his work ain't shit. Because by that, your definition of lifestyle, you would be number one type of Satanist. By full definition. Because you are in full opposition of what you would deem the God. Because if you were a woman and you wanted to transfer, trans, 
transition into a man, what you're saying is, God, you didn't make me good enough. You made a fucking mistake because this is really what I want to be. And But he, under your doctrine, made you to be a vessel that bears life. So not only did you say he is a freaking liar, you deny and blocking the quote unquote blessing is to have the child, right? To bear seed. Which is another oxy to bear seed, to be a blessing, to bear seed into a sinful. Hey man, look, your book, your book, man. I don't know. I might have went over some of y'all head because see a lot of y'all need that new YouTube shit that be going on where a nigga PowerPoint y'all to death and got to define shit for y'all because some scholars them told y'all that that's what scholarship is. The elders pass the information verbally. The tradition of the craft is verbal because the student is supposed to go and become, which means to further cross-reference and research what the master have told him and start to apply to his or her life to gain mastery and degree. Knowledge is in degrees, man. Everybody don't deserve what I'm, I'm talking about. But those who can clearly see, do some homework. I just gave you a bag of gems. Get with them. That's all I'm saying. Welcome to the app. Hey, what up, what up? What's up, what's up? Yeah, that's what, hey, I'll be down there. Yeah, for sure. It don't stop me, and the beat goes on, my brother. The beat goes on. Coffee talk ass. Welcome to the strip. Take a stroll. You're going to start to get to knowing some of the characters on the stroll because Coffee Talk Al is going to start to have some of the people on the show. Here we go. You could you could you could define blogging or podcasting or whatever the fuck you want to call that shit by whatever you want to call it. I ain't giving this no title because this is what it is. It's grit. Coffee talk ass, man. Welcome to the strip.